now let's go ahead and start putting in the sternomastoid. I'm going to go to the tool menu and let's select the cylinder. Now under the tool menu for the cylinder, because this is a ZBrush primitive, you've actually got a menu called initialize that allows you to set up some of the options of this. For example, uh, we can change the sizing of it. If I turn down the X size to 50 and the Y size, and set this to 20 by 20. There we go. And then we can set our divisions. If I turn up the, the frame mode, you can see that we can set the V divisions. Uh, we can set the H divisions. Uh, we can even taper, but we don't need to taper that, so we'll just set that to zero. Right on. So once we've got that set up, we'll just go ahead and click Make Poly Mesh 3D. And we'll come back over to our character here. And we'll go to Subtool, Append, and I'll append that cylinder in. And obviously it's coming in pretty large. I'm going to rotate it. move it and then scale it. Go into frame mode and I'm going to mask out the top and the bottom and then I will scale the interior faces. Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and divide this a few times. We'll mask out these faces, invert that mask, and then we'll just go down to our deformation menu and we'll inflate with a negative value of 10. There we go. Now I will do the same for these ends here. You can see how we're just trying to create a sense of there being a mechanical function to these things. Let's actually negative inflate these down. That's actually a cool effect there. There we go. That's one of our little mechanical pieces here. I call these greebles. It comes from a, a physical model making term used when people would do um, plastic models for film. Greebles are just little details that look like they're important. The little mechanical pieces that look like they serve a purpose, but they don't necessarily. So this would be a greeble. Let's do this. Let's mask out this part and this part. And I'm going to go to the standard brush, drag rectangle stroke, and I'll select alpha 28. Go to the alpha menu, and I'm going to turn V tiles all the way up. It's going to give me a grid effect. So now if I drag this out, I'll get something like that. Mm, not necessarily what I want.
All right, now that we've got this first sort of piston in place, I'm going to duplicate that subtool, and under deformation, I'll click mirror. Actually, I need to go to geometry. And if we delete the lower subdivision level, then we can mirror it. I can reconstruct subdiv to give me my four subdivision levels back. And if I want to put these into one, I can just go back up here to the subtool menu and click Merge Down. Now that gives me both of those in a single, uh, in a single subtool.